It's only two down. Baron. I lowered the health, health on him a little bit. Just to speed Did they also up. switch? Uh, is there any range on to Shazra? I can't see if there's... No, they're keeping nope. him a healthy distance away from everyone because of the arcane explosion. This bear looks so lonely over here. Yeah, he's just chilling. That's what he wants. Get, getting some one-on-one -on -one time with Shazra. It's been so long since they've seen each other, so... Oh, wow. Now, I wonder if they remember what Barrett and Geddon does when is he that, gets low. Yeah, is that... <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, the, the bear is, like, almost capable of soloing mm -hmm. Shazra. Is that, like, 80%? This is looking... We'll find uh, out soon. Might be looking positive. Oh, this is, this is definitely going to be a third kill for them. No problem. Can't really see if we're... I haven't really seen any raid members specifically running out for... Oh, and there we can see raid members now starting to move away. Okay, moving away for his AoE. Really good move, oh. and Baron goes down. All right, now this is going to be the tough part. Will Paragon, you know, kind of kind of think about this a little bit and maybe keep their people out of the AoE? Or at this point, are they already oh, like, just DPS. so committed and oh, confident? Oh, it's a done deal. It's going right down. Yeah, it's, it's no problem. Look at all that DPS just taken out. down to 40. Man, Shazra stands, no chance. Yeah, you're looking at about 250,000 DPS The classes right are looking OP here, Greg. I think, <laughs> yeah. Uh, literally, yeah. Two, literally a quarter of a million DPS. DPS. Yeah. yeah. And... Oh, and Shazra all the way down to 20%. It's looking very good for Paragon. Getting very close to having the world first wave one. Wide oh. wave two. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah. Let's hear it for Paragon taking down wave one. Good job, S. Did anyone remember to say too soon? <laughs> okay, no, I don't know. We're probably gonna need need to buff that, I guess. Let's see the loot. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> so weak. <laughs> oh man. All right, so what are we what are we gonna expect maybe coming in for wave two? Do we want to give them a little hint, or we just want to um, slap them in the well, face with more crazy? Well, well, what's after Molten Core? Uh, uh, what, let's hear it from the crowd. What's after Molten Core? Where do you go after Molten Core? Okay, so some of you played vanilla. That's okay. Yeah, so up next, we are going to have some bosses, I think, coming from Blackwing Lair. Ooh. What? Surprise! <laughs> yeah. So as you see, we've got Broodlord, Last Lair out there, <laughs> the Beast. This is uh, going to get ugly real quick. I think we saw a Chromatic. Yeah, so or, this is the combination of Blackwing Chromatic. Lair and... Black Rock Spire. <laughs> so we have uh, Blue Roar, Lash Lair, Chromagus, The Beast. Do you think Finkel's in there? Uh, Ready? He's in there. He's, 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 he's in, in there. the Beast. He always finds a way in there. Should have added the suppression. And then Dracosath in oh, there man, as well. Oh man, Dracosath, yeah. That wasn't a very clean pull though. <laughs> Who's on mind control duty? I, I really wanted to see Dracosass spawn eggs everywhere and all of a sudden them have to deal with like mind controls and popping eggs and ads and three other bosses. That'd be something. So it's looking like the... Oh, no. Okay. We're going to give him a clean pull. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I think that's fair. Did really good. Got the first wave and didn't, didn't strike out, right? Now, had you guys thought at all about, like, what strategies they would have had to do for this? Yeah, what do you all go right. for first? They respawn. <laughs> what, do you, what do you kill first? I think you kill Chromagus first. Yeah? That's what yeah. I think you got to do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Have we had an internal team, like, try any of this? Oh, I did this by myself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. God mode, death touch, but <laughs> it's a little different. Alex and Greg duo everything to properly tune it for the average player. Yeah. 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 It's, for, you know. it's a nice lineup. <laughs> so they're getting started. We see a, a little bit of communication. Probably trying to rethink whatever's going on. I mean, unfortunately, they, they had nowhere near as yeah. much preparation time as they did for, for Molten Core, right? Because we literally just flew the bosses <laughs> yeah. into their mouths. Yeah. Oh, there they are. I said it. They're right here. They're ready. They're coming up with a strat. Oh, man. I like how <laughs> they all put on, like, the most prestigious titles as possible for this. So that everybody in the world can see how awesome they are. 
like the Explorer and Jenkins. Oh look, here's mm -hmm. the insane right here. Dude, I saw. Yeah, I saw, look at that. Yeah. I saw that guy's crazy. Uh huh. Uh huh. He literally. Troll Boomkin there. Oh, here I we saw. Go. I saw a High Warlord was ready to bow down. Oh. Okay. Kind of. Okay, so it's looking like they're okay, taking they're the beast off to the these. left. What was that? Oh, okay, the beast charging around as he does. Okay, looking like they're going for Dracosath first. Uh, lots of DPS coming in on him. Probably going to start taking quite a bit of damage. We can see down there in the lower left hand of that screen looking glorious. Lots of spirit wolves out, everybody trying to pop all their DPS. We don't see anybody down quite yet. A couple of the people starting to get relatively low. It's like at 60%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Dracosath's getting well. going down. It looks like these guys have yep. much, much more HP than the Molten Core Wave. Oh, 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 oh knockback. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone you wanted to heal is out of range? Whoops. Dracosath. Mm. Yeah. Slowly falling down. This will be close, as they've got one of the bosses half dead, but looks I like seven or eight of them are already dead. I think Run at this back, point, guys. Run back. They, <laughs> they need to get in there and continue. Yes, that's what we need to see. We need to see running back to bodies. <laughs> that's that's what like doing. the best way. Yeah, because, I mean, so they're learning on the fly. Like, it's, it's not a bad idea, and you can't really be, you know, that upset at them for doing it. It makes sense. If you could do that in every raid, you would. Dracoseth dropping a little like bit low. Greg, you think they have a pretty good shot this time, GC? Looking good. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be fighting the rest timer here soon. <laughs> Yeah, Chromagus, if everyone remembers, Chromagus had oh. five different oh. possibilities for us. <laughs> we gave him a Frostburn and the, the Fire one, and uh, it's pretty bad. Hopefully they brought their dust. I think Drax is going to go down. Oh, gave oh. him Dirty Hex. Drax is actually looking really good, and as, as these players continue you know, running back to their corpses, they're getting knocked all over yep. the place, fighting four bosses at once is no easy feat. We can see Dracosath is just about to go down, coming down to that 10% range. The real interesting part is going to be where do they go from here, right? Because right now they have one tank, tanking two bosses, getting very close, down to five, getting much, much closer. Oh, will we see Dracosath go down? I'm going to want to hear the crowd yell about this, getting super close. Oh, and down goes Dracosath. Damn. Oh, so they go right after Chromagus. Who's yeah. next? It's a good move. Taking Alex's oh. advice, they know Chromagus needs to go down because he's going to get dirty real Should've quick. Should have done him first. Look how far they pulled the beast. It's like on the other side. They've got a goblin DK tanking the beast. That's awesome. Oh, uh, why? Oh, okay. I was like, how, how did the beast get free? What's going on? We got it, though. And Chromagus all the way down to 50%. They are hammering through Chromagus compared to how long it took to get Dracoseth down. Taking a look through one of their Paladin tank screens for a little bit. We can take a look at the raid. There isn't, there isn't as much sporadic damage as we saw in the, uh, in the first wave. It's looking pretty good, actually. I actually don't foresee them wiping to this at all. Well, it looks like they're going to get this one. I always remember that fight taking forever. Chromagus just would not die. Not, not, not for Paragon, man. <laughs> they just slam through him. <laughs> they yeah, said about the thing like 200,000 DPS back in the day. Yeah. Either. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a, no. That's when a thousand DPS was awesome. If you were doing 1,000 DPS, you were a ball. Oh, oh yeah. and Chromagus. Chromagus. Man. Nice. Oh, and now it looks like they might be moving on. Yeah, moving on to Broodlord Lash Lair. See how they deal with that. 
that when he initially spawned, did I see ads come out with him? Or was it just, okay, maybe some other random stuff aggroed. And Broodlord Lashlayer again going down super quick. Wow, that DPS is ridiculous. I don't know if you guys can, no, I guess you can't see it. They're at about 200,000 DPS. Looking pretty good. Yeah, in the beta we've seen guilds break 3,000. 300,000, rather. 300,000? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I mean, during Lust. Lust and yeah, time yeah, warp yeah. Even more. Just able to run through this. Oh, no, that, that's not even going to be a problem. We're, we're literally watching them uh, take a tank and spank. We almost got Lash Layer down. Uh, maybe we need to engage Wave 3 while they're finishing this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I know. The crowd is awful cruel to these guys. <laughs> okay, taking down Lash Lair, getting pretty close. Maybe, maybe when they get... Okay, yeah. Three of four for wave two. Paragon ripping through it. Oh, you, you got some experience. <laughs> Level a little bit. I want to see all those Twilight Drakes land down at once. Oh, they I will. So. Oh, it's will coming. they? Okay. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> As Ghost Crawler wishes. And, okay, and it, yeah, it's just looking basically like a tank spec. The beast is definitely going to go down about 50%. Maybe, do we need to spawn the last wave when he's getting really close to dying? Maybe. The crowd's going crazy. If it's possible, I mean, we don't want to break it. Okay. Oh, okay. So it sounds like they're going to have to pull it anyway, and I don't think that Paragon is going to opt to add four bosses, so we don't have a way to force it on them. <laughs> the, the one person that's been supporting Paragon. <laughs> Everybody else is, no, spawn them all at once, kill them! <laughs> and there comes two, too. <laughs> now, now, this is a wave to be excited for. That was See a little everybody. sneak peek. Yeah. I think that might be enough of the old school. Might be time to move on to the new school. Yeah. So they're starting to mount up. I'm pretty sure that they have no idea where they're going to engage all of those dragons. So the next set of bosses, we decided, yeah, we're going new school. So we actually took four of our heroic dungeon cataclysm bosses, oh. juiced them up a lot. And that's what Paragon's <laughs> going to be fighting now. So they'll spawn in here briefly. I don't know, from what I've been reading on the forums, it sounds like it would take 25 people to kill any of the current heroic bosses in beta. <laughs> and there they are. Surprise! Now that, I don't, it's not, that, that doesn't look half as intimidating as the previous two waves. Yeah. So we have Romog Bone, Bone Crusher from Blackrock Caverns on the left. Uh, then we have Osruk, he's from the Stone Core. Forge Master Throngus from Grimbatol. Grimbatol. And Commander Ulthok from Throne of the Tides. Mm. They're four of our. rougher heroic bosses, but we've even juiced them further. They shouldn't be able to take these out. Really this, oh, quickly. wow. So actually, looking at uh, looking at the HP these bosses have, they're all at like 21 million plus. That's not that much when you're doing 250,000 DPS, though. That's that's not that much when you're doing 300,000 DPS, but it is a lot when there's four of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll take it. I think they're they're trying to take. They've actually uh, several people mounted up. Maybe it's just so they can get to their locations quicker. I'm not sure what their plan is. So. I, I'm pretty sure none of these bosses fly. No, none of the Thankfully bosses fly. Thankfully for them. Safe <laughs> there. Give them a little bit of time for strat. Okay, sure. Because each one of these could kill a lot of them really quickly. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think the crowd's very happy about that. They, want, they wanted these guys down like five minutes ago. All right. I think they're ready. All right. They're landing let's, anyway. let's, let's hear it for Paragon. Let's hear it some more. Come on. They're getting ready for this wave. Man. Here we go. 
It's just like, this is easily one of the best 